Welcome back everybody to part two of systems of equations with three variables using elimination. Part one, we did these two problems, talking about some different strategies. Uh, focus variable being one that has a coefficient of one, but in certain cases, if you recognize compared to the other equations that they can match up nicely, go with that variable instead. So we're gonna do a harder problem here that's not gonna give us um, a variable with uh, that's solved already after the first step. This one's gonna be a little bit more intuitive. So let's go ahead and start. So we have three equations here. Let's go ahead and label them one, two, three. And now we have, this is probably the most important part is your selection of variable. Now, one thing you wanna keep in mind is the signs. So the signs of each one and also the factors, are they factors of each other? So if we're looking at the R's, I see that two is a factor of four and negative six. So it's okay. It's not great though, um, but that is something to consider. If you look at the T's, that's much worse. We have two, four, and five. That's gonna require a lot of work because if we were trying to pair up the two with the five or the four with the five, we'd have to find at least common multiple and we really don't wanna do that. So S is gonna be our most ideal variable so, because five and five are basically matching and then S is very easy to get to match up to five. Now, so we know we're gonna be using the S as our focus variable. Now we just need to choose our focus equation, which one we're gonna pair up with the other two. Now, this is where more strategy, so first step, which variable do we choose? Okay, so we can even write that out. So step one, we have to choose variable. And then step two is we have to choose focus equation or excuse me, working equation. Uh, let me choose, put choose uh, equation. Choose equation. So these are the kind of like the two main strategy things we have to consider. Now, in this case, I think the best decision is to choose this guy as your working equation because he's already negative and these two are positive and he could easily eliminate with uh, the first equation and the second equation, the, the coefficient's already a factor, so it'd be easy to get it to match up. And I'll show you what, what I mean. So let's go ahead and start with three and one. I should always put the working equation on the bottom. I don't know why I did that. It's not even numerically first, so what was I thinking? So let's go ahead and rewrite this guy. Negative six R plus five S plus two T equals negative 11, that's number one. You're gonna need lots of paper. So if you, if you write big, uh, good luck to you. You're gonna have to kill a couple trees. I hate how the fives look like X, S's, sorry. S plus five, T equals negative four. Okay, I'm gonna get my purple out. It's ready to eliminate. Notice how the five and the negative five are already opposites, so it's ready to eliminate. I'm gonna get pos ooh, negative two R. This eliminates, that's the whole point. We chose that, plus 7t equals negative 15. So guess what, I'm done. I got my first star, two, uh, first equation with two variables. That's step one, okay? Now I have to repeat this process. So now I need to do it with uh, three and two. Now in this case, my working equation does not need to be modified and it's my other equation, number two, that needs to be modified, so I'm putting it on the bottom. You're probably thinking that's not exactly what you said last time. Well, I changed my mind. So I'm gonna rewrite this uh, in how I had it before. So we have four R minus five, really take my time with that one, plus five, really take my time with that, equals negative four. That's my working equation. And then I got this guy, negative two R plus S plus four T equals negative nine. Now, I need to modify this guy. He's not ready to, uh, add to eliminate because the coefficients don't match, okay? So what do I do here? Well, I gotta multiply this by positive five. Now let's rewrite this equation as negative 10 as I distribute here, okay? So negative 10 R plus five S uh, plus 20 T negative 45, okay? Now, I'm ready to add, I'm gonna ignore this guy now, we don't really care about him anymore, and we're gonna add these two together. I'm gonna just move them so you guys can see this a little bit better. Oops, I'm gonna move him up. Move him, let's move him down. 
Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to combine these two and add. So I'm ready to add. I get negative 6r. This cancels. That's the whole point. We have to eliminate the same variable in both. Plus 25t equals negative 49. Okay, so this is my second star. And the other problems we did on the first page, it was much easier because we would we already eliminated uh, two variables and we had one in uh, like r equals two, for example, in one of the equations. But it's not the case here, so it's gonna require a little bit more work. I'm gonna move him down because we need that space. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two equations. I'm gonna rewrite them for you guys so you can reference how we got there. I'm just gonna rewrite my two equations in two variables. Okay, so there's my first one. I changed the color to red, yes I did. 6r plus 25t equals negative 49. Okay, now it requires a little bit more work because what we have to do now is we have to eliminate a variable. And we can choose any one we want. Okay, this is just normal two, uh, two variable uh, systems using elimination. I switched that there and you'll see why is because I recognize that I can multiply this by negative three and I'm gonna get the R's to match up. So I kinda of have my own like new focus variable. You can't see my fingers, but I'm doing like parentheses or quotation marks so that we can um, eliminate the R's. So I'm gonna rewrite this equation. I get positive six R minus 21 T equals positive 45. So I'm gonna get rid of this guy, move him along. Bye bye. Move him down, move him over. Okay, and now I'm ready to add these two together. So I get my add purple out and I'm ready. I eliminate the R, that was the whole point. We get, what is that, 4T equals negative four. Divide by four, divide by four, and I get T equals negative one. Okay, so I got T equals negative one. Um, it goes in alphabetical order, so I know I have, let's just write it to the side. What am I doing? So T equals one. But we still have to find S, and we still have to find R. Well, the good news is we can find uh, R pretty easily because we just need to plug it back in up here. So I'm going to plug T into uh, T equals negative 1 and for T here and solve for R. And I'll do that over here. So I'm going to rewrite this equation. I'll use the red again. Why not? I get 2R, negative 2R, plus 7. This time I'm substituting equals negative 15. And what am I substituting? I already know that t equals negative 1. So I get negative 2r minus 7 equals negative 15. I add 7, add 7. I get, sorry, negative 2r equals, what is that? Uh, negative 8 divided by negative 2 divided by negative 2. I get r equals positive 4. Okay, got my next one. Okay, so now I'm just down to s. And that's the one I chose as my fo focus variable in the beginning. Now I can plug r equals four and uh, t equals one into any equation. And I might as well choose this one right here because it's the simplest, okay? It would be very, very easy to solve for t. The only problem is where do I put this? Okay, I'll just move this up here. So I'm gonna rewrite this in graphite, negative two, and this time I have a variable, plus s, this is what I'm solving for, plus four times my t, which I need to have, equals negative nine. So let me go ahead and plug in my value. So I know this is four. I know this is, wasn't that negative one? What am I doing writing positive one? I didn't put positive one when I substituted it. No, okay, good. Just checking. Even I make mistakes, folks. So then I get negative eight plus S minus four equals negative nine. Well, that's negative 12 plus S. God, I have no room. Better allow you guys lots of space plus s equals negative 9. I'm going to add 12 to both sides, add 12, and I get s equals positive 3, and I'm done. You should write it as an ordered triple, 4, comma, 3, comma, negative 1, because it represents a location. Okay, so there you have it. There's one more problem that's a little bit more difficult because you have to do a system of equations just about 400,000 times. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.